All right, it's time for final assembly of the 8.8 .8 after the Ultimate 8.8 .8 and the re-gear has been completed. I got these. These are new backing plates. These are from East Coast Gear Supply. They're a little different. Uh, they don't have the extra lip right here that the stock ones have. But these are not beat up and rusty and crusty. And they have brand new e-brake shoes. You know, so these will be super easy to swap in. I've already got the passenger side knocked out. It took like, it took like five minutes. So get this one swapped on really quick and then start uh, putting the axle shafts in and diff cover and put some oil in it. I got them for free from our old neighbor. This one is the same. Yeah, Reggie. All right, say a little prayer that it doesn't leak. All right, I'm ready for the test drive and the break-in. Drive it for 15 minutes, park it for 30. Drive it for 15 minutes, park it for 30. I'll probably drive around my neighborhood just a little bit, a couple blocks, get out, make sure it's not leaking and then keep going.
but it definitely uh, maintains speed better on the road now. Off the line isn't much different, you know, but once you get going, it definitely gets its speed up better and it keeps its speed better than it used to with the stock gears. So the gears are done. Uh, I got about a hundred miles on the rear so far, so I've finished the initial brake in. No crazy noises, no weird vibrations or anything, so I think everything's going to be okay. Just need to finish the brake in. I got about another hundred miles, and then I'll change the oil in the front axle. Another 400 miles or so, and I'll change the oil in the rear axle. So that's good. I'm glad to be done with that. That was a pretty time-consuming process. I could have done it a lot faster, but I was working on it like, I don't know, couple hours a day here and there. Alright, so that rear axle is basically brand new now. Um, everything from the gears to the shafts, backing plates, everything on it is brand new. It's been repainted. It's got new brakes on it. So hopefully I never have to touch that rear axle again, but we'll see. The speedometer is actually pretty good. It's three miles an hour off. So when I'm doing 45 miles an hour, the speedometer shows 48. So that's close enough, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm actually working on the Toyota now. I got some uh, work that I'm doing on the front right suspension and it's gonna be getting tires. Uh, I was doing the tires myself and I got stymied by cheap Chinese Harbor Freight tools, which that's a pretty common failure point. So I'll I got a solution for that and I'll weld that up and get those tires finished. Then I'll knock out some stuff on the Forerunner and then I'll get back on the Jeep. I got three things, four things really, that I want to do, or that I feel it needs to be done before it's ready for the Rubicon. And I need to update my board. It's getting pretty, pretty, uh, I've knocked out most of the stuff on there over the last couple years. So I need to update that and add a Toyota column. But that's it. So weather's nice, and I'm gonna go cruise around in the Jeep, I think, because it's actually running really well.